Today we're going to talk about how to deal with anxiety when you're manifesting. So let's talk about it guys. Hello everyone, my name is Al and welcome to my channel Simply Create with Al. And if you're new here, please go ahead, subscribe to my channel. I'm here making manifesting easier for you, sharing all my tips and advices so that you can use them to create the life you have always dreamed of. And if you're in need of coaching, all my details are in the description box. Just send me an email. Anyway, today we are going to talk about a very interesting thing, so let's dive into it. So today we're going to talk about anxiety and this is something that I have dealt personally because I had uh, an anxiety disorder, not only me, but I know uh, two of my best friends have dealt with that too. I am, thankfully, <laughs> I don't have it anymore. Um, and I also come from the medical field, so I have this knowledge from both sides, which is a good thing. And I want to talk about it with you guys, but less about the science of it and more about experience, okay? We are going to talk about anxiety while manifesting, but you can, if you suffer, if you have anxiety disorder, you can, you know, think about it too for other situations. In my experience, anxiety is what always happened. I always had an anxiety attack when I wasn't being mindful, okay? When I was not living in the present right now. I always had an attack when I was busy and my mind was full of things that were about to come, okay? that was in the future and understanding that the future we do not have the future yet all we have is this okay some people say you know depression is dealing with the past it's not overcoming the past anxiety is being too busy with the future and there are so many variables there that we it's kind of overwhelming right but here's the thing all we have is the moment right now. So, when you're manifesting, when you are asking yourself, when your mind is busy with, is this going to work? Will this happen? Will I get that person back in my life? Will I be happy? Should I move on? And things like that. These are so many questions that in a lot of us, it builds up uh, an anxiety, right? And whenever that anxiety comes up, you have to bring yourself back to the moment right now. You know, what I um, teach people to do is go back to you, you know, you're probably so immersed on what you want to have. It's also putting it on a pedestal, okay? Because you're doubting yourself as the creator. You're doubting your power. And you are seeing this thing or this person bigger than it is. It's, you're seeing it as bigger than yourself, okay? Larger than yourself. And it's not. So... Bring yourself back to the moment right now. And what I used to do, I do not suffer from anxiety anymore. It's been, I say, at least two years that I haven't had an anxiety attack. But what I used to do is come back to myself, you know. Come back to yourself and repeat your self-concept. Because if that thing is too big right now, you have to make yourself bigger than that. You have to understand to come back to the point where you know, no, that thing is neutral. That thing is totally neutral. Is As I used to say, um, it's as neutral as a cup of coffee. So I'm not dealing with that, okay? I'm dealing with me because I am important. I matter. 
So you start saying your self-concept, you know, I am the person who gets what I want. I am desired. I am loved. I am cherished. I am a master manifester. Whatever your self-concept is, come back to it. Come back to yourself. And then you, you, you will start realizing that this is what matter, not that thing, not the future right now. And you have it right now. Okay. So that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for being here. If you like this video, give me a like, subscribe to my channel and I will be here tomorrow. Bye, guys.